Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I collect WebSphere MQ must scatter data to solve channel problems on Linux, Unix, Windows, and IBM I? This video demonstrates the steps to gather the WebSphere MQ must scatter data to solve channel problems on Linux, Unix, Windows, and IBM I as described in this tech note. In this scenario, a PMR was raised for an issue for a channel which runs between QManager, QMGR1 running on a Windows server, and QManager, QMGR2 running on Linux. Set your environment for the installation you want to trace. Set the environment on the remote system. The first step in the must gather is to collect a concurrent trace of the queue managers on both sides of the channel. Before you start the trace, make sure that the trace directory is empty. Check that the trace directory is empty on the remote system as well. Remove any old trace files from the trace directory. Make sure that the far MQM trace directory is on a local file system that is separate from the file system which contains your queue managers. Otherwise, you risk an outage if the WebSphere MQ trace fills the file system that your queue managers are using. The trace directory must have sufficient free space since a partial trace might not contain the information IBM support needs to solve the problem. Prepare the trace command on the local machine but do not start it yet. Prepare the trace command on the remote system. Start the trace on the local system and immediately start the trace on the remote system. We create the problem with the channel. In this video, the problem occurs when the channel is started. End the trace on the local system and then immediately end it on the remote system. On Unix systems, you need to format the trace before you send it to IBM by using the DSP MQTRC command. Now, you can remove the unformatted trace files with the .trc extension. You don't need to send those files to IBM. IBM provides the mqconfig script to simplify the task of configuring your system. If you are running IBM MQ version 8, WebSphere MQ version 7.5.0.2 or later, or version 7.1.0.3 or later, the MQ config script is included with WebSphere MQ. On Unix systems, you now need to run the MQ config command and save it to the top level errors directory. Check that the MQ config output file was generated. Now, collect the run MQRAS output on both systems. This will collect the trace output and MQconfig file you generated. Check that the run MQRAS output file was generated on both systems when the command completes. Check that the run MQRAS output file was created. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.